Okay, so this is more on homosexuality. I wanted to explore. I've been trying to think about listening to, I suppose you could say, the rhetoric of the people arguing against it. What I notice is the words they use and the what they try to imply, it comes off sounding like homosexual, homosexuality as a virus, as something that you can contract, S something that, if going unchecked, could maybe not destroy, but greatly harm the whole of society, of civilization. And other times it sounds like a sort of force of nature, like a tidal wave, where if too much of it exists, it will destroy, you know, like, you know, wrecking the houses, drowning people, destroying what we have created, what we build to try to keep us safe and to enjoy life. And I think it is interesting to note that tidal waves I don't want to sound like I am downplaying the damage that natural disasters cause. Of course not. But we do try to rebuild afterwards. Unless you believe in the global flood. Noah's Ark, we can argue that there has not been a flood big enough to wipe out a vast amount of, or not everyone, we have not perished from a natural disaster. I'm not going to go into the details, partially because I'm not an expert on geography. Anyway, I couldn't explain the details, but basically natural disasters did do have a reason and it has to do with the balance and the impact various things do. Have you ever noticed how a natural disaster does stop? it eventually does reach a sort of, I don't know, it, it reaches a point and it, it stops. And after that, you know, we can maybe rebuild. And also, going by that image, water is not a bad thing. We can't live without water. But, when there is too much of it, in the case of a flood, not in the case of homosexuality, it can cause harm. But water is a very good thing. In other words, too much of a good thing can hurt you. If you get too much water, in your body, you may drown, you will die from it. If the earth has too much water, we will be flooded and we won't be able to survive. Barring some kind of, you know, seafarers and, you know, killing sea life and surviving for, from that. That is how 
a lot of people seem to look at homosexuality. It will just spread and harm. Now, part of my flood analogy here is, even if it did spread, I, it would eventually stop, okay? It, it, it doesn't actually just keep going. Have you ever heard of someone actually be infected with homosexuality? Have you ever heard of anyone actually, not just a rumor, not someone who heard it from someone else, an actual case of someone suddenly becoming homosexual? and where it wasn't like they had deep down always been and they just tried being straight for a while. I have never heard of anyone becoming, changing their sexuality to one thing or another. A lot of homosexuals, because it isn't accepted, try to pretend to be straight because that's the only way they can be accepted. But I myself am straight. I have never had any kind of homosexual tendency. My father spent seven and a half years, I believe, only around men. Five years in a boarding school where he only got to go home for vacations. Just try to think about how much time that means he spent away from women, girls. And back then it wasn't actually very appropriate for a man to want a woman. It was okay if they got married and they didn't do anything sexually before they got married, but otherwise not at all. And he was physically, just objectively speaking, he was in close proximity to a lot of these men and boys. He shared a room with a boy who later turned out to be bisexual. They are now great friends, and this other man who is bisexual has never tried to force his sexual preference upon anyone. He has never tried to do something to someone who didn't want it. And my father has never had a homosexual experience. It... It isn't contagious. If you fully believe that it is contagious, please offer up some proof. Please offer up some proof that it is somehow harmful, that homosexuals rape more, as is a common allegation. And then th there is the idea that they will s somehow destroy marriage. How? Marriage is an idea. It, it means that two people are together, legally. That's it. Th th does it imply something else? Does marriage trick God? Does it mean that homosexuals would go to heaven suddenly if the homosexuals were married? Is that what you're afraid of? It would just change the meaning of the word to include that it could be same-sex couples also. That's it. Words have been changing meaning since we invented language. If you try to translate into other languages, you will find that words imply and mean different things in different languages. A language is a philo philosophy. And it doesn't hurt a word to 
change its meaning slightly. If marriage suddenly meant gangbanging, okay, that would kind of be messing up the word, but it's not. Homosexuality doesn't mean that they have more sex or worse sex. It doesn't mean that they are hurting anyone. It just means that they're having sex with the same gender. Are you afraid that people will die out suddenly? First of all, the statistics I've heard say maybe 4%, maybe as much as 10% of all people are homosexuals. That leaves 90% at least to procreate. Do you realize that in, I think maybe the last 50 years or so, the amount of people on this planet has doubled? It went from 3 billion to 6.7. Maybe I don't have those numbers 100% exact, but does that not make you think that maybe we're doing okay on the whole procreation thing? We don't need more people. We're overpopulated as it is. We're running out of natural resources. We don't need everyone to procreate and it isn't somehow inherently negative to not procreate. Do you really want people who don't want to be with the opposite gender, who don't want... I, maybe I shouldn't say children because plenty of homosexuals want children and I see absolutely no reason to deny them that. What, is it because there isn't one member of each gender in the relationship? Does that somehow invalidate their parenting skills? Just because they need, you know, a petri dish to be a meaty... you know, to help out with the process? Is that it? Anyway, just because they don't... Do you really want people who don't want to be with the opposite gender to be forced to... Is that really what you feel will most benefit us? For people to live in misery? Is it good for the other partner? Maybe they don't know? Maybe they spend 20, 30 years with a man that they are convinced loves them and enjoys being with them sexually. I mean, they could be close friends, sure, but it just isn't quite the same. And after 20, 30 years of marriage, maybe the woman can't get very many straight men after all that time when she finds out. What about the women who actually agree to it? You know, to be the you know, decoy, let's just go with that word. Beard. Is that... Anyway, is it really a good thing for these women to... I mean, it's their choice, of course, but how must they feel about sexuality, to want to be in that kind of relationship with a man who probably isn't going to have that much of sexual relationship with them. I mean, what does that say about that woman's sexual drive, that woman's relationship with the idea of a healthy sexual relationship? That's it for this one.